Great. Um, well, so good morning, everyone. My name is Will Marin, and I am with Con Edison's Energy Efficiency and Demand Management Pilots team. We, um, it's working through some, something here for a moment. Um, this morning, I'll give you a brief uh, overview of our company, our department, and more specifically about my team, which uh, develops and implements pilots that uh, demonstrate technologies or uh, delivery mechanisms uh, to bring uh, energy efficiency uh, programs to our customers. So Con Edison is one of the largest investor owned energy companies in the United States. Uh, our company provides a wide range of energy related products and services to customers through uh, subsidiaries, uh, including Consolidated Edison of New York, Orange and Rockland, Con Edison Transmission and Con Edison Clean Energy Business uh, businesses. Uh, Today, I'm gonna to talk specifically about Consolidated Edison Company of New York, which is uh, the company that I'm specifically working with and that provides uh, electric, gas, and steam service to New York City and Westchester. So about Consolidated Edison Company of New York or Seconi, we provide uh, electrical service gas service and steam service to uh, New York City um, in different areas. Uh, electrical service we provide uh, to the entire city and Westchester County. Gas service we provide in Manhattan, Bronx, Queens and Westchester. And steam service we provide uh, only in Manhattan. Uh, we um, develop, we uh, operate and maintain uh, the, the distribution systems that deliver these uh, services to our customers. And we um, always looking for ways to um, uh, improve obviously the system, but also uh, deliver uh, uh, savings to our customers through uh, programs that I'm gonna talk about now. So um, specifically my department, Energy Efficiency and Demand Management offers customers energy efficiency programs that result in electric and gas efficiencies and peak load reductions. We provide uh, a wide range of, of programs that incentivize the adoption of uh, you know, energy efficiency measures, uh, regardless of the, the type of fuel it could be um, uh, for electric, for gas, or even steam. And we are um, obviously working towards the state and city goals um, that uh, Monica, uh, Jared, and a few uh, of my colleagues here have already uh, covered. We provide uh, energy efficiency programs uh, through uh, or for um, four different segments, commercial, industrial, multifamily, small and medium business and residential. And uh, we have a program that's, um, uh, we have programs that target uh, each individual segment and uh, can, um, or, or intended to um, uh, achieve the goals that we uh, have uh, been given by our regulators and that are meant to uh, yeah, reduce uh, uh, greenhouse gas emissions and also um, yeah, um, uh, sorry, some, some problem here. So um, uh, let me talk a bit more about um, how the pilot team is integrated into organization and uh, the role that we played in the 
uh, in the department. So our role is to identify and evaluate new technologies and program delivery models that will eventually transition into our core programs. Uh, we develop uh, and implement uh, test environments for these technologies. And we uh, are looking to understand if uh, they're cost effective, they're feasible and scalable. We source uh, or we look for technologies that uh, will deliver, uh, will deliver um, the fundamental goals in the years uh, ahead. Uh, we're looking into two or to four years in the future. Uh, our current focus is uh, new technology programs and delivery models that, uh, that has been in, in our goal and or our focus for uh, quite some time. But uh, more specifically, we're looking for building envelope solutions, like uh, also a couple of the, the presenters that have gone before me already alluded. Uh, new York City has um, a building stock that um, it's um, uh, there's uh, a lot of room for upgrades and retrofits that uh, improve the building envelope and uh, allow these buildings to transition to um, zero emissions and well, in general just become more energy efficient. Uh, our pilots are also serving or looking to uh, target uh, low and moderate income customers. Um, so um, what we're doing uh, to source ideas or what we're looking for is to uh, we're looking for proven technologies that deliver electric and gas savings, but also demand reduction. Um, and we're looking for innovative delivery channels. Um, just as an example, um, instead of uh, reaching out to customers individually, we um, are also implementing programs that uh, incentivize the distributors. So more upstream programs that uh, make it easier for customers to receive energy incentives and have access to energy efficiency solutions. The technologies that we're looking for are, could be physical or software. Um, obviously physical solutions are uh, probably more impactful, uh, but not always, not necessarily. And I've already seen that uh, some of the uh, technologies that have been presented are, are very interesting. So I'm looking forward to connect with some of you uh, or the other panelists after this meeting. Um, and again, uh, we're covering or we're looking for uh, technologies that target uh, all of our uh, customer segments. I'll give you an example of one of the technologies that we uh, have recently implemented. Um, this is a, well, the quantum water heater controller is a gas, uh, energy savings and demand management uh, solution. Uh, Aquanta learns and matches water heating and usage patterns and allows customer to uh, control their unit remotely, their uh, water heater remotely. It delivers gas energy savings and demand reduction. Uh, we tested this technology at 200 homes in Westchester uh, over the past year. And we we're just about to wrap uh, or concluding the, the pilot and uh, draw some conclusions and understand uh, where to head next. But some of the objectives of this pilot included uh, the assessment of the actual uh, energy savings from the technology itself. We uh, tested the demand response capabilities uh, for a device providing gas uh, demand response, which uh, has not been done uh, at least at a larger scale or a relative larger scale in the past. So we're, we were quite excited about uh, testing uh, gas demand response capabilities. Uh, and we're also testing the, or one of the objectives was also to understand the cost effectiveness of this demand-sided uh, management measure um, and the customer experience, of course. A couple other pilots that we have implemented over the uh, in recent uh, time is the oil to electric pilot, which is an electrification effort to convert single family homes to th that are currently using oil or propane to clean heat alternatives. Uh, more specifically, this involves um, weatherization measures that uh, strengthen the, bin the building envelope in these homes or in these uh, uh, locations. 
and uh, the installation of heat pumps for the space and water heating. So this pilot, uh, it's currently underway and uh, we're, yeah, we're working closely with uh, NYSERDA also on this uh, as we have similar offerings, but we're looking to uh, test it uh, in different ways to uh, better get information that we need to scale these programs up. Another pilot that's very interesting, a technology demonstration project that we're currently uh, working on is secondary window. Um, we have a couple of projects in the pipeline that uh, test or demonstrate the, the, the feasibility of implementing this technology in large buildings in New York City. Um, but what this consists of is uh, an attachment that goes uh, mounted uh, structurally on the existing structure and um, improves the insulating capability of the windows so that uh, these buildings become more airtight and therefore more energy efficient. Uh, implementing uh, a window retrofit in New York City could be quite challenging as you would imagine. So the secondary window solution uh, could be um, very beneficial and we're very excited about it. So we're, we're looking forward to that. Uh, another smaller uh, demonstration project that we have is uh, EcoBlade, which uh, I just wanted to add it here because it's a technology that uh, I think originated in um, uh, England or uh, yeah, in the UK, but um, we've, we've been able to uh, pursue some projects here in New York City that demonstrate and we're able to uh, incentivize uh, the, 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 the demonstration of the technology and therefore uh, once we are able to uh, measure and verify savings delivered by it, we're able to incorporate into a larger programs. Um, so yeah, these are some of the examples of the projects or pilots that we're working on. Uh, and that's all I have for now. Happy to take on any questions. Uh, thank you, Will. 